before we start the video, I just gotta let you guys know something real quick. Hold on. I'm super appreciative of everybody that bought a shirt, right? And if you haven't got your shirt yet, check your email because I emailed everybody. Um, I underestimated everything and I'll just thank you. But um, I got a couple orders, so I have to place another batch. So if you want one, you want to support the channel, like order one now if possible, link in the description so I can get you accounted for and uh, basically make some more shirts and ship them out. Dog's going crazy. So let's get this shit. Good morning, yo. Um, I got some exciting news. I got a couple things I gotta do, like take the rim to go get fixed and do some other things. I was walking, right? And then I heard something like pop. Like, Pow. so I was like, what is that? And I looked on the floor, right? This happened. RIP. It exploded. And then I was walking towards the front, and this is what I seen. I'm pretty excited now. This is it. Hey, Loki, the guy that shipped me this got this good handwriting. Look at this. This package from. Estonia and there's goodies in here for the M5. <laughs> Just got to Dave and he doesn't even know how much parts I have in here. <laughs> Freaking adding a whole bunch of parts to the back of the Prius. Keep in mind I work with this car so I pick up somebody from the airport and they look they, this is what they see. I have not <laughs> seen this car in a long time. Charlie! Charlie! What's up everybody? This Charlie! Alright this is what I have all in the back. Sick. Where's the <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I'll give you the honor to open Dude, this. Just open it. I want to see it. <laughs> All right. Good job, activator. Okay. All right. So that's like he made that. That's our IAT sensor. Oh, it's an open element one, so it's a fast one. Ah, uh, this is the adapter harness. Mm -hmm. So sick. This is the adapter. Did he made this yes, too. Yes. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, he gave us pins. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so legit. Like it's a, it's a basically a blank connector. Oh my gosh. Yeah, blank connector. <laughs> but at the same time, it's great too. Well, this is gonna allow us to like actually tune Ooh. stuff. God damn, it's real now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here, touch this, man. Touch this. I gotta show. All right, we got a couple parts going on. We got. Four packs. We got adapter harness for the ECU. We got um, relay plugs. Oh, math. So this was like a, all a kit from a guy from Estonia that had it on his car, and it was like a turbocharged setup. Mm -hmm. This is a Vems V 3.3. The reason why I'm stoked is because this is basically a new computer for the M5. Not only that is new, it's updated keep in mind that the e34 m5's computer is like like low-key outdated bro i said it fight me but yeah i was like watching this video like a couple times and i was like yo i keep saying standalone like if i know what i'm talking about truthfully i'm just gonna say truthfully like my understanding of this equipment is not truly there i'm just really stoked because i know this is gonna allow me to actually enjoy my m5 I just know what a tune, I'll be able to drive the M5 like that, and um, yeah, that's why I'm that stoked. Buying this, for me, is like, I'm so excited to drive the, the M5, but for Dave... This is like horsepower per liter wars right here. <laughs> like, let's see, how much was the M5 rated at from the factory? 311. Correct me if I'm wrong, yo. <laughs> There's another crazy dude somewhere in Estonia or Northern Europe that's like making 350 out of a 3.6, like... 350 oh, yeah. at a 3.6? Yeah. Oh, wow. With, I mean, so that's... This? No, sorry. That's, that was like 350 at the crank. So it was like 330 something at the, to wheels, the wheels. Which is mm. pretty damn good for an M5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man, I'm stoked. <laughs> what does this mean, though? I mean, it just means that we have live tuning now and I don't have to bullshit flash stuff. Hi, Kill. Dude, you're like respectable, right? <laughs> respectable car guy. I respect you heavy. Gonna go to Estonia, Estonia one day. And I have to meet this guy because this guy changed my life. Anybody understand this? <laughs> what language is this? What language do you think it is? Estonia. All right, we got a little bit more stuff. Look, he even labeled it to three for number three. Just to have the space <laughs> correct. That is crazy. Dude, the attention to fucking detail. Like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, shout out to that guy. 
That guy, by the way, his M5 blew up. So it kind of blew up. No, it didn't blow up. What was that thing called? The Ringlands? Oh yeah, the Ringlands failed because it's stock pistons basically. But he was making like what 650 on he, stock pistons? He, yeah, he said he was making 650, and he he was just pulling the motor. This is what he's telling me, right? I was talking to him. He said I just pulled the motor to do general maintenance. Dd dog, dd dog, dog. We gotta talk about that guy. I gotta shed some light on that guy because I was talking to him, and he's a cool dude. He's across the country. I wish I could just like give him a hug. But long story short. That man is wild. You want to know why I'm saying he's wild? To us, it's considered wild because over here in the States, a lot of people don't do this with E34 and M5s. I don't know why. With my mentality, I was really scared to even do anything to the M5. But now that I'm getting like a little used to it, I'm like, dude, I'm about to do everything to the M5. Basically, this guy has done a lot of work to his M5. It all started from when he pulled the motor to do general maintenance because it was turbocharged. So he wanted to pull it and just check how things were going down. When he pulled the motor, he found out that it actually blew a ring line. From there, you know, I, I guess the M5 is truly a special car, especially when it's turbocharged. So he was like, okay, time to build it. And that's when like things got out of control. From my perspective, when I, he started showing me the photos and I was like, yo, why'd you sell this ECU? Like, did you just part out your car? And he's like, no, I sold it because I have a better one. So yeah, we were talking and he was just showing me all these photos and information about his M5 and it's like, you make it seem like M5s are like easy to work on. At least in the States, I'm traumatized to not even touch an M5. Everybody here just doesn't want to deal with him. So the car's been sitting since 2019, we were talking, and it's 2022, it's still not done, but he said it's almost done. It went from zero to hundred real quick. The budget just went out the window. <laughs> I think that's the problem with M5s. People don't want to mess with them because the budget goes out the window. You're truly an inspiration, bro, especially when it comes down to M5. So, on to the question of why a standalone? I'll tell you why a standalone. Personally for me, I think all old cars should just have a standalone. Simply because it's way better to monitor how the motor's running. And plus, not to mention, distributor cap, O technology, RIP. Other than that, it's gonna be more responsive, better tuning. I can actually see live data and not guess about how the motor's running. And typically for me, every time I drove my M5, I was always wondering like, yo, is this thing running right? So to verify, I would drive other people's M5. And when I drove them, theirs, I was like, hmm, they seem about all the same. But honestly, I have done a stomp test on mine and it threw a math code once upon a time. And I don't know if you guys know about the maths on the M5s, but you can't really find them. They're like non-existent. And if you do find them, they're like anywhere from 600 to like 1200. Typically you have to send out your math and get it rebuilt and you send in another one, but that's still like an arm. So like I seen this kit and it was a no brainer because you eliminate the whole math, um, better tuning capabilities. It's going to be more responsive. I'm able to do E85 if I want to. And I'm not going to mention anything, but like, this is the first steps that you kind of have to do to if you ever want to turbocharge anything, you know what I mean? Possibility is endless. It's going to be like, if you stick around, then you're going to see because I post everything on the internet, you know? I am a YouTuber, so <laughs> eventually what I do to the M5, we'll see. If you're not subscribed, you should. <laughs> All righty, y'all. It's just a quick little unboxing video. I've been a little bit busy, been working more. So I just wanted to show you guys the kit because I was working like crazy to get that kit. Now that I finally got the kit and it's finally here, it's not like all the problems are solved. I still have to like install it, um, buy some more parts. I need to buy bigger injectors, put a new fuel pump in. Oh, I'm just gonna say this. The M5 is about to transform and it's gonna be a, like a sick car. And the fact that I got this and I can see the vision, I low key just wanna throw all the other cars away. So if you wanna buy any of my cars, just let me know. E30 is up for sale. And the 540 possibly, I will sell it like how it is. Just let me know. More than likely not, but like, like I said, M5 is like top of the list now. I'm, I fell in love all over again. I'm, I'm just like vlogging right here, right? I got the homie right here and I got this dog just looking at me. Um, I know you guys said it was a crank sensor. Um, but I think it's a distributor cap router. I'm gonna try both. That's gonna be in another video. But yeah, see you guys in that video.